And we now go live to Downing Street where we await the briefing from the Prime Minister. Good evening. Today I'd like to begin with the good news that 2020 is finally over. Uh, my cabinet and I have been working extremely hard to accelerate time uh, so we can defeat the mighty god Kronos. Uh, however, there is, uh, there is still work to do, <laughs> so we must tap into that great British institution, Greenwich Mean Time, and we must be really mean all of the time. Uh, I shall now uh, hand over to Alex for further. Alex. Thanks, Anne. Uh, as most of you will be aware, I am here standing in for the Health Secretary today, so with that in mind, I'm Matt Hancock and I wasn't expecting questions. Um, I, 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 I have spent most of uh, today learning uh, a TikTok dance because I, I thought that's what you had to do to be popular these days, which means that I haven't actually had uh, a chance to read over any of the uh, um, the um, uh, um, um, science today, but I, uh, I believe that we are. We've done some very good science and I'm going to let the scientists tell you about the science that we have, we have done. Um, I think the science has been remarkably scientific and um, 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 well I think uh, that um, um, I'd like to hand over to Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Good evening and Happy New Year's Eve. Welcome to today's daily briefing. This is our 283rd day since lockdown and it's going really well. Today started with positive movements. Yeah, was it something you ate? As we know, it's vital to ensure we get a good start to the day. With that in mind, we got up, showing great British spirit and stick to bright and early to greet the day. At midday. Appearances are important, and it's also key to elevate one's mood by dressing for the situation. Mm, yes, we are in comfies. I don't even know where my bra is anymore. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so we've been making sure it isn't missed. We had breakfast for dinner the other day. A moment to address mental health. In these trying times, it is essential to understand and acknowledge your feelings and emotions and realise that they are valid. Mm, we average about an hour of crying each day. We must take personal responsibility and real, meaningful steps to protect ours and others' safety. We have taken this to heart and introduced our own additional tiers. We still have tiers one, two, three, four, but have added tiers five, six, seven, eight. We call this the Steps Plan, or the H Accords. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy Christmas. Of course, the traditional British Christmas was not possible this year, but we implore you to maintain compliance with the guidelines. Despite the behaviour of some of the Cabinet. Remember that a quiet Christmas is a safe Christmas. Mm. And I certainly enjoyed a white Christmas. Overshare, Mervyn. Every day... We have the intention to work out, and that's the important thing. The intention is there. My kettlebell has dust on it. 
In solidarity with our Sikh brethren, we have both decided to eschew the cutting of our hair until climate change is solved. It's getting difficult to navigate down there. Thank you. Good night. And see you next year as we continue to tackle the important puzzles of the time. Thank you, and now over to Matt. I'd like to thank the Right Honourable Merwin Irwin for his very informative presentation on his plans to reintroduce the Gorilla Gorilla percussionist into the UK sometime in early 2021. Now, for the next part of today's briefing, I'd like to speak about the new three-tier system that will be replacing the current four-tier system. Um, this will be a lot simpler and a lot easier for people to understand. Uh, the, the biggest tier that most of the country will be going into tomorrow is uh, the bottom tier, and that's a, a victorious sponge, sort of classic jam and buttercream. On top of that will be a, a chocolate cake, sort of chocolate fudge gateau, very, very popular, we know. And then the smallest tier, which is, is where most of the elderly people are living, will only be put in care homes, is a hard, dry, stodgy fruit cake. So that'll be the, the top tier. So that's tier three, Victoria sandwich, tier two, chocolate gatto, and then tier one will be the fruit cake. Some of the uh, great achievements of this government this year is we've really supported British business, and in particular, the tin foil hat industry, uh, where we've seen sales soar throughout the UK, where a lot of time and effort has been spent in making this much needed PPE so that these harmful 5G rays coming from all the Chinese masts can stop the coronavirus from getting into us and, uh, and making anybody ill. Uh, I'd also like to stress, uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about the vaccine, uh, whether it's the Pfizer, the Moderna or the new Oxford one. Um, I'm glad to say that we will not be providing any of the vaccines as we know that all vaccines do. Is, uh, is give our children autism. So we'll be making sure that nobody's going to be getting any more autism under this government, which is something that we are very proud and, and very, very, very supportive of. So you can all rest easy that there will be no vaccines for anybody at all. Um, that concludes my portion of this briefing. And I would now like to hand over to uh, Dr. Waits, who will uh, give you the next update. And she has a very important message for you all. Thank you, Dr. Waits. Thank you very much, Matthew. And thank you to all of you for doing your bit by staying at home, staying drunk, and protecting the JHTC. I prepared some words of Christmas joy for you all. Hark the herald, angels sing. Pfizer's vax is just the thing. Peace on earth and mercy mild. There's not enough food for every child. Joyful all your infection rates rise. Raise the R rates to the skies. Please, as man, with man to dwell, but only to bathe in alcohol gel. Hark the herald angels sing. Pfizer's vax is just a thing. And uh, now over to Professor Whitty uh, for the latest statistics. Next slide, please. And the next slide, please. Next slide, please. And the next slide, please. And the final slide, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. And now, oh, dear God, he's back! Get the remedy! Some questions. Uh, yes, I think I see a Laura Kunzberg from the BBC. Yeah. Prime Minister, can you tell me how long to brace celery for? I'm sorry, Prime Minister, you seem lost for words. <coughs> Hasn't the bracing of celery <coughs> remained the same? <coughs> Thank you very much, and no educate. Thank you, Emily. This is the five o'clock briefing. It is 8pm. 
Today we have entered tier 44 of our COVID lockdown restrictions. This means that anybody earning under £80,000 must, must isolate to help protect our lives. We are following the science with this and we know that poor people cause COVID. But it is not all doom and gloom. The great British public are a proud people and great bakers. And as such, we have identified the air pockets in sourdough. And in memory of those great bakers, we have named them Great British Air Holes. And so I promise you that with time, you too can have a Great British Air Hole. Thank you. I'll now hand over to Hannah. Today, we find ourselves in your average lockdown British household. And we have a very special, rare even, creature for us to uh, sh showcase to you today. If we're, if we're quiet and careful, we may find this creature that you can find in any British lockdown household. It seems we are so lucky. It is the rare Johnson. Bloody good job, Kate. Thank you. Good evening. Good, good, no, good evening. No, no. Good evening. If we listen carefully, probably tell us some very helpful information on how to survive this pandemic and our daily lives. If you'd like to make a cup of tea, make a cup of tea. If Polly isn't available, ask your brother. If your brother's not available, ask her mother. If your mother's not available, ask your dad. And if your dad's not available, he might be me. Oh, some, some very helpful advice there from our, uh, uh, as the BBC have employed me, taught me to say, our glorious leader. And um, probably about to tell us something very helpful about how we can also live our lives through this pandemic and hopefully make it out as safely as possible. Well, you got out of bed this morning. Bloody good job. Bloody, bloody good job. And uh, if you would like to pour yourself a, a nice, nice glass of wine. I, I'm drinking wine all the time. And a uh, very good tip there. Very good tip from, from our leader. And I'm sure he's about to tell us finally how we can make sure we can watch some bloody good things on television. I heard of some very good programs about the environment, but I'm sure he's got some good uh, recommendations also. Uh, if you um, like to, uh, what did they say, Netflix and chill, um, bloody go on, do it. If you'd, uh, I've heard the Crown's very good, Crown's bloody brilliant show. Um, and, um, um, I think, um, I like, quite like Strictly Come Dancing as well. Um, I don't know why I'm Welsh now, but, um, Strictly Come Dancing is very, very good. And when you come, bloody brilliant lady! Uh, yes, she was very, very excellent when she was on that show, and I think, um, yes, uh, Oh, as we can see, a common a common characteristic of our of our British prime ministers is that they can lose themselves and begin to fumble. I think it's probably time for them to end their speech with some kind of closing advice and some some positivity for us all. Just a very very good job, everyone. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Thank you, Hannah. And thanks to all of the other people who shared their stories, too. Um, as you can see, uh, across the entire country, people are showing, by example, that they are not only able to achieve some normality among the adversity, but that they are making many other great uh, achievements, too. Uh, Churchill... Keep calm, carry on, beaches, Agincourt, marmalade, etc. Ava Baton. Oh, uh, 
it looks as though we do actually have one question from a, a Rachel in Leeds. Uh, hello, Rachel. So, um, speaking of achievements, when are you going to achieve putting your floor job away? It's looking particularly full at the moment. Ah, yes. Um, an important question. Thank you. Um, it is, of course, important to note the difference between a floor drobe and a floor basket. One, obviously, is a pile of dirty clothes, whereas the other is a clean clothes arranged in an avant-garde fashion. Uh, but as they say, uh, laborare non amo vesere bracis meus. And now, now, don't Latin bullshit me. You know that I don't like it when you do that. Um, uh, sorry, Rachel, uh, seems to be breaking up a bit. I can't quite... You hear you? There's... Wi-Fi! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Right, we, um, we seem to have lost Rachel. Um, much pity. Yeah! Uh, floor draw. Yes, dear. Um, that concludes uh, the uh, daily briefing, and um, uh, yes, join us tomorrow. <laughs>